Mr. Oh, Shipmatter? Here. Mr. Ryan. Here. Uh, please, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kins? Here. Ms. Snyder? Here. Mr. Schubert? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. We probably need to, <laughs> we probably need to clarify those here yes. to make sure we have yeses I, I, or did no. I, did, I, did, I, did I say I, here? I said yeah. here. You're, You're zoning, babe. Yes. Okay. Okay. I literally said here. Yeah. yeah. For excusing Heather. Oh, yeah, I'm so I, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay, guys, it's Monday. Come here, break. Yes. Uh, the, the, what yes, okay. Yes. I did. Yes. Yes. I, one of them yes. we needed okay. four. So. Okay. okay. Listen, we're on the same corner over there. Thank you. First, motion to accept minutes from April 18th, 2023 council meeting as presented and not read, please. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from April 18th, 2023 <laughs> council meeting as presented and not read. Thanks, John. A second. Thanks, Sam. Uh, any discussion? Roll call, please. Now. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Schumacher? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coots? Yes. Thanks. I'm here. Next, we're looking for a motion to accept purchase orders from April 15th, 2023 to April 28th, 2023, totaling $2,776.41 as presented and not read, please. I'll make a motion to accept purchase orders from February or April 15th, 2023 to April 28th, 2023, totaling $2,776.41 as presented and not read. I'll second. Thank you. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Thanks. Uh, gentlemen, pick one. <laughs> uh, any discussion? Passing it along today. Roll call, please. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. We're looking next for a motion to accept bills from April 15th, 2023 to April 28th, 2023, totaling $133,858.97 as presented and not read, please. I'll make the motion to accept bills from April 15, 2023 to April 28, 2023, totaling $133,858.97 as presented in the I'll second that. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, Laura. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Koontz? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Thank you. And then we're looking next for our motion to accept April 2023 DOPS delinquency report. As presented and not read, please. I'll make a motion to accept April 2023 DOPS delinquency report as presented and not read. I'll second. Thanks, John. Thanks, Laura. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Koontz? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. And next, we're looking for a motion to appoint Tracy Sears as the delegate and Megan Pittman as the alternate representatives from the Village of Lake Moore for the Regional Council of Governments, please. I'll make a motion to appoint Tracy Sayers as the delegate and Megan Pittman as the alternate representative for the Village of Lake Moore for the Regional Council of Government. I'll second. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Laura. Thank you, John. Any discussion? Thank you for agreeing to do this. On behalf mm -hmm. of the Village, uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Kuntz? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Okay, reading of ordinances and resolutions, please. Mm -hmm. Resolution number 7264-2023, a resolution accepting the resignation of Joe Burnside as a part-time firefighter medic with the Lakemore Fire Department. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit, State of Ohio, Section 1, Council regretfully accepts the resignation of Joe Burnside as a part-time firefighter medic with the Lakemore Fire Department and thanks him for his service. Section 2, this resolution is declared to be an emergency measure in the interest of the health, peace, and safety of the citizens of the village of Lakemore. Therefore, this resolution should take effect immediately. <coughs> Ordinance number 1813-2023, an ordinance to amend ordinance 1809-2023 to change the effective date from July 1st, 2023 to October 1st, 2023. 
Now therefore be it ordained by the Council of the Village of Lake Moore County of Summit, State of Ohio. Section 1, Council approves to amend Ordinance 1809-2023 to change the effective date from July 1st, 2023 to October 1st, 2023. Section 2, all ordinances, resolutions, and parts of ordinances and resolutions which are in conflict with this ordinance are hereby repealed. Those ordinances, resolutions, and parts of ordinances and resolutions which are not in conflict with any provision of this ordinance are hereby expressly accepted from repeal by this ordinance and shall continue in full force and effect until otherwise amended or repealed by council. Section 3, this ordinance is hereby declared to be an emergency measure necessary for the immediate preservation of the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the village of Lake Ohio. Therefore, this ordinance shall go into effect immediately. Ordinance number 1814-2023, an ordinance to amend ordinance 1795-2022, make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Lakemore, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2023. Now therefore it be it ordained by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit, State of Ohio, Section 1, Council approves to increase appropriations in general fund $45,095.21 for an overpayment of the special assessment by Summit County. Note principal and police facility fund 3102, $500,000 to pay invoices from the renovations project. Section two, treasury for payments for many of the foregoing appropriations upon receiving prop certificates and vouchers therefore approved by the board or officers authorized by law to approve the same or an ordinance or resolution of council to make the expenditures provided that no warrant shall be drawn or paid for salaries or wages except to persons employed by authority of and in accordance with law or ordinance it shall be provided further that the appropriations for contingencies can only be expended upon the pill two-thirds vote of council the items of expense constituting a legal obligation against the village for purposes other than those covered by other specific appropriations herein made. Section 3, this ordinance is hereby declared to be an emergency measure necessary for the immediate preservation of the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the village of Lake Moore, Ohio. Therefore, this ordinance shall go into effect immediately. Okay, thank you. Um, just really quickly for the mayor's report, I just want to announce that the uh, Lake Moore Food Pantry will be operating on May 31st. Uh, that's the last Wednesday of the month at 5 p.m. at Lake Moore United Methodist Church. That's all I have for now. I think council has a lot more than that, so we'll start with council president, Mrs. Cochran. Our next council meeting will be on May 15th and then June 5th. Each of those will be at 7 o'clock, and they will be uh, here at the community room at the high school, and that's all I have to say. Thank you. Um, so, I want you guys to help me because we're going to talk about the Memorial Day Parade because there has been some changes, so it's super important that we get the message out there. Um, so if I forget anything, we'll add it. Um, so we have the date for May 29th. May 29th. I just want to make sure I got that right. May Monday. 29th is a Monday. That's Memorial Day uh, Parade. Normally we have the parade at 1 o'clock, and this year we're moving it to 11. Um, so people will have to go up to the high school at about 10 to start lining up. Um, it's it traditionally was at the time but there have been a lot of people um, who <clears throat> asked to change the time due to truly how hot it can get around one o'clock with the kids in the band that's one of the reasons I if I'm correct True. right yeah. I mean um, so we we didn't have the band last year <laughs> and maybe even the year before because right. of certain issues and we want to work with them and we want the band to come back to the parade so Absolutely. we're changing the time to 11 and um, I hope everyone doesn't show up at one o'clock. So we got to work on getting the word out, yeah, and making sure everyone knows. Right, for sure. So, yes, yeah. not at what? It's going to be at eleven right. this year. Uh, anybody add anything to that? There, there was, a, you know, push from several, a lot of oh, residents okay. and, yes, and, absolutely. and participants to uh, the, because you know, kind of broke up the day, and they wanted to have their, uh, you know, the solemnity of the service early in the morning, and then then have you know the day not broken up for. 
I, I totally agree. It's family stuff. And, and I that. agree. And as a former band. <laughs> yes, saying, please. Your input. We usually would have like at least one fainter every year. Okay. <laughs> which been? I mean, there so you we go. can't predict the Ohio weather. It's either going to be 100 degrees or 50 degrees. It's Who always knows? 100 degrees on Memorial Day and very you know, sunny. It's, always. It's Ohio. So it's crazy. Hopefully and that'll help. Moving uh, forward, I mean, we're not saying it's always going to be this. We're trying it this year. We're going to reevaluate right. and you know yeah. talk to many people afterwards yeah, and, we'll see how and get yeah. feedback before we you know make any decisions for next year. But we're trying it this year for various reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see everyone for the Memorial and Day Parade. One being that there will not be a uh, pancake breakfast this oh, year. Yeah. Oh yes, the disruption. And so we want to make sure everyone knows that there will not be a pancake breakfast. Um, there was some talk that there might be something going on, but I really don't even know if that is going to happen afterwards, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe hot dogs. But if that's not going to happen, we'll know. By next meeting. But next definitely meeting, not the pancakes but not because pancakes of the construction right. going on down there, Correct. obviously. So, um, well, I'm glad you remembered that. I've, right. I've heard on Good Source that the band is going to be led by a uh, special people. someone. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, the outgoing playing. band director and the new <gasps> band director. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, that will be taking his place. Am I allowed to say who? Oh, Maybe I'll I don't know. Not. I'll, I'll surprise everybody. I forget when they told me they were going to announce it again. So we'll not say who. They, they, they did. They did. But <laughs> to be announced. We'll go Yes. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. spoil it. Okay. Special guest. But that person <laughs> has previously worn a Spartan shirt. Oh, she gave a hint. Okay. That's all you get. That's all you get. It's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so everybody remember that the, the time has changed, and we'll see everyone on Memorial Day. Thank you, Mrs. Coons. You're welcome. Thank you. That's, That's all for me. Yep. Okay. I'd just like to thank Channel 1023 again for covering their, our local government meetings and the local school boards and just uh, keep an eye out on social media to see what, what events are running right now. They also run special events going on in our community. Yeah. And thanks again. And they came out. They actually, they actually thanks, came and guys. covered the the Rotary District 4 way oh. speech competition, which was okay. last week, uh, weekend, oh, or the weekend prior. And I want to say thanks a lot for that. It was a really wonderful event here uh, at our local school district. Mm -hmm. Was it a big turnout? Oh, yeah. We had about 150 people there. That's it was awesome. Wonderful. That's awesome. It was so nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. John? Okay. A uh, couple things here. I want to remind everybody about our community garden. Applications are on our website. Yeah. Um, my dad's been down there cleaning up, getting ready for people to. It's going to be on a first come, first serve. There is no charge to take up a plot. So if you'd like to start your own garden, there's a place, and you'll have a place in your own property to do so, there's a place to do it. I'd um, also like to announce that coming next month, the month of June, we will be having our Saturday movie nights, the first Saturday of every month mm -hmm. until October, in which we will probably have a Halloween movie. These will be taken down at Dodds Park, down at the Pavilion, uh, free of charge. Come on down. May or may not be some refreshments while we're there. Depends. Um, but it's always a good time to sit down at the lake and watch a movie. I um, also like to announce about the lake that uh, we will be putting our lake sonars back in. Uh, we did take some sample tests of the lake and remarkably how well it is doing. So we're moving forward with that, getting those in probably sometime this week. I see the uh, pond in there. And. Uh, Keep treating the lake and making things better. Awesome. And as far as treating the lake and making things better, I want to remind everybody not to rake, your, rake or blow your leaves or yard debris into the roadway so that the uh, stormwater doesn't wash it down into the drains and then therefore goes into the lake. Let's uh, keep that stuff cleaned out of our drains. It also helps with keeping our drains clear. And Sam, it's all you. All right, cool. Can I just say one thing first before you go on? Uh, John, will you thank your dad on behalf of all of council oh, for all his sure. hard work the best. and let him know that as soon as winter is over, I do plan. As soon as winter is over. But I don't know when that, that's going to be, when we're going to start into spring or summer. But as soon as it's done snowing. Well, he's he's, snowing. he's <laughs> already taken. I have some flowers that's been in my yard since I bought my house 30 years ago. And they've always been there. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, I come home the other day, and they're smaller. I'm like, Dad, we're having my flowers. He goes, oh, I dug them up, took them down here, and planted them in the garden. Oh, thanks, Dad. And that is why I love him. So now the garden's got Make my... it look more full. 
I like it. I'm gonna add a hosta in there too. I'm gonna. He's just gonna one day be like, oh. "Where'd this plant come oh, from?" Oh no, he's. <laughs> He's got a thing. Don't you mess with it. He's got I love it. Uh, He's allowed to have that. Which, speaking of garden. the lake and cleanup, do you have the new time about the lake side cleanup? Yes. They have moved it to May the... <laughs> is it next it week? It is then? May the 13th. Okay. May 13th. I need to write it. It is now cleanup. Uh, uh, Springfield ha had to cancel um, what was supposed to be last weekend um, it, they originally had the 29th and they had to cancel for whatever reason so Probably they weather. have made that uh, the 13th so thank you for everyone that came out last weekend and <laughs> not saw anybody <laughs> um, unfortunately that was a day that I'm very busy with with the food drive from the United States Postal Service of the letter carrier so you can also leave food out by your mailboxes. Mm -hmm. oh, but, I didn't know that so, either. Yeah. Anyhow, I won't be there. Okay, but it will be the 13th. And it's then... the 13th. The previous time was 1030, and I don't believe Kelly um, changed the time. Chapman changed the time. Okay, so 10 I will look on my phone and see if she I did. had something okay. going on that day, so I'm kind of secretly happy it's on the 13th now. There you go. Um, and then the last thing that I have is uh, the next council workshops are going to be May 10th and May 23rd. Those are both at 6 p.m. And I think that wraps it up. Well, I have a few things to add. All right. Uh, a few okay. things to add. First, uh, from the mayor, administration, and all of council, we would like to extend Mrs. Carol Cochran oh, a happy oh. 100th birthday. Oh, As Laura's mother-in-law, she celebrated. She's been celebrating for a month. <laughs> <laughs> she really has. Over. There's everywhere you look. There's cake. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but uh, she did uh, make a hundred years old last Thursday, just a few days ago. So from all of us, we want to extend happy our birthday. Most heartfelt and, happy and birthday. happiest of birthday wishes to Carol. Um, Rock the Docks. Uh, Rock the Docks is happening soft start Thursday, June 22nd through Saturday, June 25th. We will have South Side, aka Lake Moorside, participation. Uh, we're still working out the details of that. We have an important meeting tomorrow uh, that I know, I, I believe Laura, Trace, and I are all going to attend on behalf of the village. But that, uh, we're, you know, we're working out those details for Rock the Docks, but uh, it is happening. And the summer concert series, I just want to do a shameless plug for the Lakemore Lions. Uh, we will be providing beverages for the Friday night concert series over there as a fundraiser. And we're really thankful that the township has uh, allowed that opportunity for us. We'll be having pop awesome. and lemonade yeah. and water. Mm -hmm. And we have a schedule, so we should be there every Friday night to hopefully make some money for the Lakemore Lions Club and enjoy the, the live music uh, on the uh, other side of the lake at the Springfield. Uh, you know, at the gazebo for the Friday night concert series. So that was a blessing, also. So that that's what I have. Did I? Do we have anything else to report? Uh, oh uh, well, I don't know if you're watching this, but there is voting tomorrow. We have a levy on the ballot, right. and it's important that we, you know, do our good call. You know, get out there and vote. That's what we need. Right. Absolutely. Okay. If there's nothing else, we'll we'll move on. Uh, there's no appearing before council, right? Unless you're going to come up and talk? <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, you need it all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll move next. Uh, Mrs. Conklin and then Mr. Strickland, and you said you take Heather's. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, please. New business. Oh, all right. I will make a motion to adopt resolution number 7264-2023, a resolution accepting the resignation of Joe Burnside as part-time firefighter medic with the Lakemore Fire Department. But first, I'd like to make a motion to dispense with the three reads. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, takes five. Roll call, please. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Shipmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. I'll second the original. Thank Thanks, you. John. Is there any discussion? I uh, hate to see him go. Uh, Joe's been on the department. Right. On right. Springfield for quite some time. Come over to come over to Lakemore to help out. And uh, due to his health and uh, other circumstances, he has decided to retire all the way around. So, so not only are we losing a firefighter medic, but so is in Springfield and wow. other communities in which he worked for. Hmm. Sad to see him go. Well, yeah. enjoy retirement. Right. Amen. Okay, if there's no further discussion, roll call, please. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Regretfully, yes. 
Mrs. Coons? Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Snyder? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to adopt ordinance number 1813-2023, an ordinance to amend ordinance 1809-2023 to change the effective dates of from July 1st, 2023 to October 1st, 2023. First, I'd like to make a motion to dispense with the three reads. I'll second that. Okay, it takes five. Roll call, please. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. I can second the original. Thanks, Sam. Any discussion? Uh, just to clarify that this was just to amend, we're not really changing anything. It was just to amend the previous ordinance. That way we have an adequate amount of time before it goes on their bill. Okay. Yeah, good. Any other discussion? Council? No? Crazy anything? No? Okay, roll call, please. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to adopt Ordinance 1814-2023, an ordinance to amend Ordinance 1795-2022, make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Lakemore, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2023. First, I'd like to make a motion to dispense with the three reasons. I'll, I'll sec second. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I'll <laughs> second. Yeah. Okay. Roll call, please. Takes five. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. That's like the original. <laughs> Thank you. Sam? Yeah, me and Sam are on it tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Okay. All right. Here is the. Uh, Executive session? No reason? reason tonight to have an executive session. Okay. okay. What's next, Council? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Pick one, anyone. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. second. Roll call, please. <laughs> All right. Mr. Stripmatter? Take spot to pass, right? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. All right. We are adjourned All right. at 722. Look at that. Oh, wow. Among our oh, friends. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 he's like, I'm not right up there.